Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you guys that in case you are interested in a private reading with me all that you need to know is my website which is written down below in the description of this video and there you can find um, the list of my services and as well the pricing for those services. <clears throat> And just to use the occasion here to let you know as well that this, as it is a uh, the summer ending, there is a, a summer end um, promotion or a sale going on, which uh, if you purchase 30 minutes, automa they automatically become 40 minutes. So it adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes um, service. So that being said, and we kind of clear this one um, aside. Let me cut the cards and let's see what uh, Taro has to say for you Aquarius is for the month of September. Seven cards spread. The first card here will represent the uh, past circumstances which are influencing your month and they still have an impact upon your month. Uh, then the next card represents the uh, situation or what the month is going to be. Further go, uh, we do have the next card, which stands for the outlook or what you can um, what you can achieve should you choose to pursue it. Then the next card, it is about the best possible course of action regarding the situation of the month here. Fifth card, it is about the people surrounding your situation, or which are involved into your situation. So what will be their attitude, uh, what, what they are going to think, uh, how they are going to contribute in general for uh, your agenda. Then we do have the sixth card, which stands for the predicaments that you have to cope with. And the last one is the final outcome, or what will be the result of uh, the uh, previous six cards. So, um, let's see what you do have here, Aquarius. Now we do start with the Ten of uh, Wands. I do believe that Capricorn had the Ten of Wands as well. Nonetheless, uh, it's pretty, pretty much the same thing that you are stepping in the month here with some obligations. You are stepping in the month with some uh, probably promises that you have gave and you have to keep now. You have to do something about it, you know. You need to keep on your word. The Ten of Wands stands for these um, additional undertakings we, uh, we took in the past and now we rather regret that we have taken those um, uh, those undertakings because most likely in this particular month we will have an opening to further our agenda and these undertakings will come up as a, a burden to us because most likely these undertakings will involve pleasing other agendas and other people they will involve as well uh, following a certain code of conduct here uh, being playing by a uh, foreign rules as well which is going to deprive you from a time to give uh, into your personal things Things, personal agendas like friends, family, you know, projects which are private projects for yourself, etc. etc. So, uh, what accompanies the, this card is a couple of things. Now, the first one is that regardless of how tough it is, at the end you will be rewarded for your hard work. So, uh, these undertakings are not entirely in vain. And then it comes the necessity for you first to finalize them before you actually start working upon your, uh, upon your agenda. So it's very important that you settle down the work that you are carrying for months of July, from month of June, for example, etc., etc., before you actually attend to the topic here of the month. So how productive this month is going to be, Aquarius, it does depend how, um, subtle you um, you mitigate with your current undertakings. Uh, then the topic itself, this is going to be again the devil card. So wow, I'm shuffled the, I shuffled the card. So uh, yeah, this is going to be again for you a, a chase for a um, something of your desire here, either relationship or um, either a, a specific project, you know, a personal one or a, into your career. The Devil Can stands for, a, uh, as I said, a yearning of ours, which right now we do have an opening to, um, 
to achieve or you will have Aquarius an opening to achieve in the month of September however as I said first things comes first and this is the current undertakings that you are carrying on from a previous month you have to be very careful with the energy of the devil card because it could make you very rigid it could make you as well very ignorant etc etc being uh, nar narrowing your mind only around your personal agenda here only about your wishing only um, <clears throat> and um, in another words you may try to revolve the world around yourself which obviously ain't going to be faced very well either by your partner into your um, into your relationship, co-workers into your career. So you have to be a little bit more polite here and instead of using the power of the devil, you know, to suit entirely your needs, you also have to need to give something to the people which are as well involved into those situations because otherwise they will be highly displeased and as soon as the this energy of... Um, or this topic of power, control, you know, uh, being the one who alter outcomes, etc., etc., leaves you, uh, maybe those people will seek retribution? Who knows? I mean, uh, that would be a chance that I personally, personally wouldn't take, but if um, if you feel yourself almighty, by all means, you know, you can go and just smother everything down and get what you want, etc., etc., and afterwards, suffer the consequences from it that is entirely entirely your choice here Aquarius so the things you can go for uh, will be the will of fortune wait a second no it's not the same reading <laughs> Jesus Christ I <laughs> I kinda like shuffle the cards so we do have the first three cards as the same as the Capricorns well that's that's very peculiar here. So, uh, as with Capricorns, you can go for even greater heights here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune um, gives you even um, even uh, uh, work on multiple fronts apart from that uh, yearning of yours. So, look at it at this. I will try to give a different examples here from from the Capricorn example. Uh, Look at it at this. Let's say that you are single. You do have someone that you very, very much like. You desperately want to be with that person, okay? So before you actually can start dating with this guy, you have to settle down something you already started. You know, it could be project in your job or it could be, I don't know, in an agreement with a friend of yours, etc., etc., which is consuming your time and it's making you dependent. And as soon as you finalize that and you are finally ready to start dating with your person of interest, then some someone else appears, you know, or maybe a couple of people appears as well. This is signified here with the Wheel of Fortune because the Wheel of Fortune comes out of nowhere and it gives you opportunities and in many times that would be once in a lifetime opportunities. So what is advisable here is to try those opportunities out, you know, before you actually devote yourself into that uh, hunger that you are trying to satisfy here, that insatiable hunger. So trying those opportunities out at the very least is going to open your vision and is going to contribute for your broader perspective upon the grand scheme, upon the bigger picture, you name it, but it is highly advisable really to take advantage of the dynamic of the situation because <clears throat> the very least um, it will allow you to create for yourself an escape route, should I say that way, in case things are going uh, going from bad to worse. But that going from bad to worse, it is highly unlikely to happen here in the month of September. It is most likely to happen in um, month of October, should you misuse the power given to you from the Devil card. Uh, and then as I uh, take a look as I took a look at, at uh, the next card, which is how you should proceed. Now, this is where the difference comes with, <laughs> with the Capricorns, all right? So the Nine of Cups here, apart from the previous reading from, for the, from the Capricorns, it does ask you to truly indulge yourself with all the activities you can. And as we, if we stick with the, um, 
with the example of dating multiple people, then this card here advises you to date them until you don't feel yourself satisfied entirely by some of them, by one of them. So here we are seeing that the hunger isn't a specific person. The hunger isn't a specific project or, uh, you know, a specific job. The hunger is about your personal emotional satisfaction. For example, to be... Um, to be with a, a, a certain type of a person who will fulfill a criteria of yours. You know, it's not for the specific guy or a girl, but it is for a specific type of a person, specific type of a character. Same thing goes for your career. And this card here advises you to, um, of course, indulge yourself with uh, with all the activities coming in your way, you know, experience everything positive that those activities can offer. But also you need to uh, know that this will be a short-term indulgement here for the duration of this month and afterwards it's going to deteriorate. So around the end of the month it will be advisable if you narrow um, this juggling for the lack of uh, better, uh, for the for the lack of better term here, so just only one that you stick to and traverse the short-term happiness into a, a long-lasting one, and that definitely can be done with some definitive maneuvers here. So only thing that you will have to do there is seal the deal, sign the contract, you know, say I love you if you want, if it is about relationship or you know I miss you, I'm sorry. You, you just you will know what you need to do there, guys. Just don't. Don't mistake the situation that um, some things are going to be forgotten and you will be allowed to get away with it. As I said, uh, if you misuse the power of the devil here, the retribution will follow at the end of the month or maybe at the start of the next one. Then the next card, it is about how the people will um, treat you, how uh, what will be their attitude um, or how they will contribute as they are involved into your situation. Very baffled, should I say. And this is a, a very dangerous card here, especially having it uh, beneath the devil, both of them. So they will try, they will use your uh, state of euphoria, states of being almighty, states of like you are on the top of the world or you have brought the world down in your knees to take advantage of that, uh, of your uh, clouded vision, should I say that way? Because when a person is in euphoria, when the person thinks that everything is going smooth, uh, that person is rather um, <clears throat> neglecting, you know, the uh, surreptitious intentions of the people around them. And this is what those people involved into your situation will uh, try to use. And in this particular case, um, it is... Uh, the sentence that preaches keep your friends close but your enemy closer enemy is closer it is with a, a full strength here for you Aquarius says you truly need to observe your adversaries and um, keep a, a very uh, tight monitoring upon uh, their activities that regards your agenda. What they do outside of your agenda is not your concern, but you have to be very objective. And the bad thing with the Seven of Cups is that these lies or these um, misleading um, arguments, for example, statements, etc., etc., could as well come from your friends. So you are not a 100% um, secure here. However, uh, they will not um, damage, you know, your your estate. What will happen is that they will profit for your expense, but you will not lose anything, if that makes sense. You know, so basically it will depend how generous soul you are. If you have nothing against, you know, these people profiting from your, uh, from your positions, then that's totally fine. You know, they will not harm you in any way. But if you are ma more like, you know, you have to, you have to kind of like uh, work for it instead of take it for granted, then obviously you have to con confront those people and tell them that they should not use your uh, authority, your positions or influence, etc, etc, as a means to their goal. And then we do 
have the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the Two of Cups. And this card is, uh, in that particular case, is associated with uh, equilibrium and with uh, equal openness, if I may say that way. So that necessary that doesn't necessarily has to be you. It could be the person that you are dealing with, you know, the partner into your career or the person of interest or maybe even your partner, who knows. They either may be shy or embarrassed to open themselves fully. And just to give you an example of that, you know, you may sense that some something in your family isn't right, you ask your mother or father, you know, or brother or sister and they say, no, everything is fine, while it isn't, you know, and this is, um, they are saying it that from either a sense of embarrassment or a, a sense of uh, shyness. They have the, the intentions of shyness behind it because they don't want to either trouble you with their problems or they don't want you to know that they are, they have failed. Alright, so this is going to be the challenge here, establishing that emotional connection which allow those people to open yourself towards you. Uh, and uh, it doesn't have anything to do with true love or something like this in that particular case, uh, but it is more like, you know, um, sharing a, a good and bad fortune of course no one wants to share to uh, share bad fortune or to be the one who bad the bad fortune is shared with but again the the coin has two sides and you can't have one of the one the one side of the coin without having the other so if you want a productive relationship if you want smooth uh, project you know smooth um, <clears throat> unfoldments of your projects etc etc you need to as well deal with some of the shenanigans of the people which are involved into those uh, into those activities and the last card here shows how you're gonna wrap this one up you know how the things are going to uh, develop after this period is over probably at the end of the month this card here points that you are going to reach a, a huge insight that insight will have something to do with your intelligence and your wisdom here also maybe uh, your imagination will be mixed in there and that insight will be different for every single one of you unfortunately I cannot give you the most positive uh, prediction here that everything is going to be all right you will consolidate on this yearning here and you will feel happily ever after because some of you throughout that insight may realize that actually that yearning is something that they don't need so uh, just like with Capricorns there um, maybe the universe is giving you what you think you uh, what you want just so you realize that actually you don't need it and having it it is just a burden so uh, again depends on your personal situations depends on your goals and aims but the moon card could have a, a very positive um, meaning as well the moon card could speak that you are changing your reality so that could be a huge jump into the layers of the societies here that could be a huge jump into your career or into your uh, relationship as well but that jump also will make you feel a little bit uncomfortable a little bit insecure because uh, you will not be used to the uh, to the situation to the new environment there so some things could catch you on guard and you have to adapt yourself very quickly and the worst thing you can do here Aquarius is give yourself to the fear of failure as well you need to know that with the moon card uh, the, the, the person who is experiencing it, it is rather very secure based on a, a material aspect here what is not very secure with that person is, is the person's emotion um, emotions because they are kind of uh, lacking the sense of predictability predictability of the event which is happening which is occurring and because you cannot predict what the outcome is going to be our nature uh, binds us to be always prepared for the worst this is our animal nature and the devil card is about the animal instincts you know you want something you don't have the rational reason behind it you just you just know that you want it you need it here and because it's about the primal animal instinct, it's just because you, you can't predict the situation here, you will feel insecure and you will prepare yourself for the worst. However, the worst may never come, right? This is just a preparation, but better safe than sorry, right? So basically, that was your uh, monthly tarot reading here for September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. 
And in case, again, you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.